All right, we're back, SDRC. We're in the shop. We've uh, got our project we're doing here today. It's uh, getting these Revo tires put onto our uh, Arma Typhon. It's been a pretty simple uh, mod so far, basically just fixing these hubs here, these Traxxas style hubs, removing the uh, little tabs there and taking about a mil and a half or a mil or so off of the edge right here. So what I'll do is I'll show you the um, the one I have done. I'll pop it off the vehicle. Well, actually, I have three done right now. I'll pop one off and I'll show you guys what they look like, uh, what I've modified them like compared to this here stock one. So one sec. Okay, as you can see, here's the modified one. And I basically just ground out where it's a little bit white here. I've just ground a bit off of this bit off of this the high spot on each one basically would be this spot right here it's just a little bit higher you can see it just grind that little bit off and then go around all around this edge here well actually I took off of I took off these little high spots here every every one of those first you can see these ones here I took those down with a Dremel I'll show you in one second what I used for a tool I did each one of these, then I did a cross piece. Then I did another one, then I did a cross piece. So I'll show you here what I use for a tool. Okay, this is what I use, Black and Decker Wizard. Uh, it's just one I got. It uh, works actually really good. Uh, it's electric, obviously, uh, with a cord. Um, so basically, this it's a little bit that would be like a router bit. My camera's really bad at focusing on things like that that are close. But anyway, it's just a little router bit. It's hard to see. Oh, I wish I could get... I'm going to be getting a better camera for this, guys, so bear with me. Anyway, it's small. It looks like a router bit if you know what those look like. Um, I run it at actually a, a high speed right now. It's set on low because I was sanding with it. But for this kind of application, I run it on the highest one because the RPMs actually help you get a smoother cut. I noticed with the first two I did, this one and the rear, I ran it at about 3000 RPM I believe it is and it left a, a rougher feel to it and I had to go around and clean it up a bit more with a razor knife whereas this one I did it at 6000 RPM and it left a smoother finish to that so I would recommend that and yeah the Dremels are the best if you guys don't have one pick one up uh, you'll do you'll you'll use it for everything in RC's and a lot of other hobbies so yeah, they work great. I'm going to modify this one here off camera and show you what it looks like half done. So I will be right back and give you an example of what that looks like. All right, guys, we're back. I uh, off camera here modified this one. I got half half of it done here, so you guys can see it's pro my camera's crap. So sorry about that. It's not focusing good. So you can see basically I took off each one of those little high spots there, the tabs that lock into the original stock Traxxas hub, um, hub hex there drive. And so basically you just take off those tabs, make it look like a regular 17 millimeter hex adapter. And a little bit off of the, like I told you here, a little bit off the top, a little bit off of every one of these, the top edge corner where it's white there. I, that's all I took off I'm dropping it down about a mil and a half it's hard to get on the angle and show you but it's about a mil you know there's a groove there let's see if I can get under some better different light here um, yeah it's it's still my camera's bunk anyway so yeah I'll uh, show you guys again what it looks like when I get this completed and then I'll get the whole vehicle put back together and show you what it looks like then so one second here all right, here they are, both of them modified, ready to go on to the uh, Typhon, the uh, Revo wheels here, fully modified, well, fully modified, small modification to get them to fit, so basically just take off the stock little tabs that Traxxas puts in their wheels, and now these will fit on any 17 millimeter uh, hex now. So they're good to go. I'm going to I'll probably paint them up a new layer, of, you know, coat of paint on there, make them look all shiny for this season if I like how they handle. 
and uh, yeah I'll get them onto the vehicle here and show you what they look like here soon so just one minute she's definitely a change now over what it was like before the um, these new tires are gonna make it a monster on the track just gonna love it it looks bad bad ass so uh, what do you guys think right in your comments you think it's gonna work you think it's gonna be too much draw for 4s power that I'm gonna be using for a while uh, what do you think has anyone else done this let me know have you seen this before I've seen one picture of one guy who did it I don't know um, you know if there's any more I've seen one video online of a guy who he actually turned I believe it was a Creighton or an Outcast he put this body on and turned it into a, a basher but this is actually a Typhon and it's going to be turned into basically a basher instead of a buggy a buggy basher I guess uh, it was always a basher but I want to be able to do like backflips and stuff and go over really rough terrain and these big these big tires should be uh, able to make me be able to do that so I'm really looking forward to that uh, yeah I've ha I had a surgery recently so I'm just recovering from that and I am looking forward to getting onto the track and out into the compound with the crew doing some good bashing here uh, I'll keep you guys informed and shoot all the videos out onto YouTube and Facebook of, of all our sessions and stuff as always so I think that's about it around here I just got a couple of vehicles I'm going to be doing some work on here my AX10 Scorpion my crawler I'm going to be doing a bit of work on that get it out on the trails here this spring also I just put a new set of tires on this I'm going to be converting it from uh, off-road to basically an on-road uh, kind of you know speed you know drag truck but I mean it's a stampede so it's it only handles so good but I have a nice uh, system I'm gonna throw in there a censored system see if I can get some good wheelies going on it and uh, gear it up so it goes goes appropriately fast and we can have some good fun make some videos on that on the street I have a couple more street vehicles so I will get those all prepped in this spring here uh, summer